Deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people under the Four Simmons Recon. If you heard of the breaking news yesterday, the Recon passed procedural. How do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot by taking roads and bridges out of the Recon. I'm putting it somewhere else, and that was in the bipartisan. Over the last few weeks, I told you that the Recon procedural was going to go to a quick vote, and it happened. Let's recap what happened. Over the last few weeks, I said the Recon procedural was a done deal. Number one. One, the Democrats had already agreed upon the price tag of $3.5 trillion. Easy breezy. Number two, they had all the Democrats on board to pass the $3.5 trillion. All the Democrats agreed upon the price tag. All the Democrats agreed to pass it. And all they had to do was simply call the vote. And within 24 hours, the recon passed. How do we get to this wonderful spot? By taking the roads and bridges out of the recon and put it into something called the bipartisan. A conservative publication confirmed my reporting. The higher the price tag was on the recon before, the harder it was to pass. But by allowing the Democrats to take out spend some of the spending from the recon, the roads and bridges, it made the overall price tag of the recon bill smaller. In other words, the recon made the bipartisan passable. This is why the fourth stimulus check updated 2021 today is so exciting. Because the Democrats had met weeks ago to agree upon the price tag of the $3.5 trillion, and that simply calling the vote was ceremonial, as I had told you. In fact, Representative Elon Omar and Representative Richie Torres, both uh, Republic, both Democrats, both progressives, had said, we need a big enough recon. Well, they got it. And then when they called it for a vote on Tuesday, it passed quickly. Omar had said we have to have a recon that goes as far as we want it. And then Torres said we have to have a larger recon. Done deal. So what did the president say before getting that recon price point achieved? Well, he said, we need to have a big enough recon. And then when he got a recon price of $3.5 trillion, he said to the Democrats, protect my recon. And that's what they did all the way to the finish line of Tuesday evening. The White House had told them they considers, the White House considers the progressive priority its own priorities. So what is a recon procedural? What is a recon substantive? What is a recon and what is a bipartisan. Let's go over all the details starting right now. It's important to understand that this channel has always guided you through all these important steps, and each step is very important. First, what is a recon versus what is a bipartisan? Recon is your money, also called reconciliation, also called the budget bill. Price tag $3.5 trillion across the board. Uh, recon is also called the Democratic Spending Plan or the Progressive Spending Plan. The total price tag, $3.5 trillion, all checks for you. Bipartisan, on the other hand, is called the Roads and Bridges, also called the Incredible uh, infrastructure. Price tag, $1.5 trillion. So we have three bills we had to do, and number one has now been finished. Recon procedural passed Tuesday night. And so recon procedural, you can cross off the list. That is now done. We're now into recon substantive. Next also to be done is bipartisan. So what's the difference between recon procedural and recon substantive? I had already told you over the last three weeks that recon procedural was already agreed upon before they started the process, so that the vote on Tuesday was going to be quick and easy. In fact, it took less than 24 hours to get it done. The recon procedural vote was only to determine the price tag of the, of the recon, $3.5 trillion, and which committees was going to get which sums of money. $10 for this committee, $10, $20 for this committee. The recon procedural went for a vote on Monday and was finished by Tuesday evening. So now they go into the next step, which is recon substantive, which is where they ask the committees how to spend the money. $10 for this committee, $20 for that committee. Okay, how do you spend the money? How do we get to this wonderful spot? More about this in the final 15 minutes of this Force Simple Check Update 2021, part two. Yes, I lost connectivity in the first half of this recording, so this is a second half of a bifurcated afternoon's LA. But how do we get to this wonderful spot? From Jalapal, who recently wrote Schumer letter saying, Chuck, call the vote on the recon. The letter was signed by 12 House Democrats, part of 100 plus, who recently wrote the president a letter saying, we need monthly four stimulus checks to the four stimulus recon. Boy, can we top that? Yes. As seven members of that House Ways and Means subcommittee, the one we talked about in the first half of this video? Yes, that one. Recently wrote the President Lair saying we need to put monthly four stimulus checks in that four stimulus recon. Well, Purple Power, you got to push because now we have a lot of committees saying we need to do this. We have Warren Sanders and also Wyden saying you need monthly stimulus checks on the Senate side, not saying the amount. We have AOC and Omar on the House saying a House side saying you need a monthly stimulus check, $2,000. We have the House bill saying monthly stimulus check reoccurring for the remainder of the 
the pandemic plus one year. $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000. And we have the House Ways and Means Committee we just went over. Finally, we have the American Petition at $2,000 a month, which is nearly at three million signatures. How do we get to this wonderful spot? By doing something last, which was taking the global minimum corporate tax rate out of the forced recon. Biden did it about six weeks ago. He went overseas to have a ceremonial signature. And that ceremonial signature was followed up by the real signature days ago. It's to take that thing out of the recon. And while you don't need to know what that thing is, it's great because out the recon is easier to do for recon substantive. Number one, easier to write recon substantive, either vote, call the vote, either vote on, easier to vote on it and easier to pass the recon substantive because this confusing thing is not in there. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video in the second half of this two part afternoon's LA because I lost connectivity on the first part, we go to the exciting details about the incredible dramatics yesterday and what starts next for recon substantive then we cut to fifth stimulus but first here's a personal message if you got one item from this channel rent utilities food internet a hundred dollars twenty dollars anything where you've picked up the phone over the last year you are ready to kill it under four stimulus because four stimulus is about picking up the phone is about going to a website and if you've gotten those sums of money you are ready to kill it meantime if you haven't gotten the other sums of money like mortgage assistance or utilities or snap Reach out to the volunteers. We're on there, there in the description of this video. Click the link, and here is a little bit about them. And I will be back with you in 60 seconds as for the final 15 minutes of this big afternoon's L.A. The second broadcast. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. News now on this massive second half of a bifurcated Afternoons LA. If you don't know what happened, the first part of Afternoons LA a lost connectivity. So this is the second half. And boy, exciting details in the final 15 minutes of this video. We'll be going over the recon procedural vote. Why did it pass so quickly? And what's next with the recon substantive? Then we cut to the exciting details of fifth stimulus. But first, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, three thousand likes and consider becoming a member. Meantime, if you've not signed up for the talk of the town, it's the LA Late Alerts. It's totally free. And yes, if you had been an LA Late Alert member yesterday, you would have received the alert that the recon procedural had passed. Go to news.la.com forward slash alerts. It's totally free. There's a sign up sheet there and you put your email address and your name in there. Watch for the confirmation email. It may be in a spam folder. But some Gmail viewers tell me that it may be in the promotions folder. Interesting. So go to the promotions folder to look for it as well. Click the blue button. You must click the blue button and confirm. And then it'll say thank you. And away you go and you start receiving those confirmation emails. Meantime, how about that fifth stimulus? Well, the President of the United States promised this during the campaign trail, but now the Democrats are taking care of it for you. It's to raise your benefit limits up, step one. Then they're going to move the asset limits. Then add a new inflationary benchmark. 
remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. Then they're going to then they're going to do those analysis starting in September. They start drafting in September, putting it to a vote by about November and raising your benefits up a lifetime thereafter. How does this work? Let's go over all the details starting right now. Who is this for? It's for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, or SSA Benefits. Step one is they're going to raise your benefits up a lifetime. Then they're going to apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. That new benchmark is inflation. So where's inflation going? It's going to be transitory. Transitory means a temporary spike in December. Yes, right when they apply your benchmark. This is really well needed. And how high? I'm reporting about 5%. I'm reporting about 5% at least. So let's do the analysis. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. And that new benchmark, if it's 5%, means your benefits will go up another 5%, not just next year but lifetime. Then they're going to remove the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you have some muddled. <gasps> Did you call this muddled? How dare you? <laughs> they're going to allow you to have some uh, some purple in your hand or whatever color you call this, periwinkle. Then they're going to remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. Uh, and away we go. Finally, will there be a fist stimulus check? There will be, and that will be next year, the House Ways and Means Committee will represent. Lastly, if you are in the live chat and you notice people who have a purple hawk, what are you doing? You need to get one as well. The link is under the video where it says, become a member today, join here. Become a member because the purple hawks are killing it. I launched Purple Hawks in January this year when uh, I realized there's big sums of money in these stimulus packages. When third stimulus was passed by the U.S. government, everyone was talking about $14 stimulus check. I wasn't. I said, hey, there's a lot more money in there. I could get you upwards of $14,000. And guess what? I'm getting viewers $32,000, $50,000, $100,000 from the stimulus packages because they were in there for you to get this big sums of money. Crash it, rock it, get to become a member. The link is under the video because then you're delivered daily from the YouTube community page. A breakdown of all the big money that is available as a member. Daily I deliver to you a breakdown of all the big money that is available under second, under third, and fourth stimulus. The message comes to you daily, written by me, about all these big sums of money you can get, and then you can pounce it as a purple hawk. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of the second half of a bifurcated afternoon's LA, starting right now. Deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. It was passed. Let's go over what happened and where we are. This is why you stay with this channel, because there's a lot of fake news out there, and we are pushing through the fake news, and we got close to the finish line. At this point, the tow truck has passed over the finish line. Can you imagine? Next stop is to pick up the tow hitch. I had told you that the House was coming back in session and that they were going to do the recon procedural. And I told you that Steady Hoyer had ordered them back in session on August 23rd. At the same time, there was a lot of people who were taking a lot of pride in saying, no, they're not going to do anything to September. Wrong. <laughs> Watch me. Uh, why would you not? Why would you dispute the the majority leader of the House? He actually put it in writing. I mean, wh wh who are these people playing these fake narrative games? He put it in writing, and he also put it in writing. They're coming back on August twenty third and starting to vote at six p.m. on August twenty third. Next fake narrative people ran that they're not voting this week. They started voting on Monday night at six o'clock. Can you try something else fake like um, my flowers are fake? They're real as well. <laughs> Then, <laughs> then came the dramatics of Tuesday, where people say, oh, do you think LA's right? Do you think they're going to ever call a vote this week? I said, they're going to call a vote within hours. I'm not even this week. It's going to be in hours. <laughs> and then they did. And it passed. I have been telling you over the last few weeks that recon procedural is a quick, easy vote. Why? Because what? I had told you, and you're going to only hear from this channel, that the Democratic membership of both the House, Senate, and the presidency had met before they started the whole process and agreed upon the price tag. Number two, they agreed to pass it at that price tag. So the vote was much of nothing. They've already agreed upon this. And that's why I did those voices on camera for the last few days. Uh, don't ask me that question. I agreed upon the price tag, you grouchy old person. <clears throat> yeah, they already agreed upon the price tag for recon procedural. So this was a quick, easy vote, and it passed in the middle of Tuesday. And if you sign up for the LLH, you got it.
So, tow truck has passed over the finish line. Now time to pick up the tow hitch. And the tow hitch, of course, is recon substantive. And I know how the naysayers are ready to pounce. They say, okay, so they pounce. They did the recon procedural. Big deal. We're not going to be done until 2045. <laughs> I just know they're ready to pounce on that one. I'm done with one achievement. We're on to the next one. Hating on the next achievement. Here we go. Recon procedural has passed. $3.5 trillion is a, now the agreed upon price tag. The American people will be getting a recon procedural. $3.5 trillion. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. The only thing that remains is how the money is spent. Now, this is a very queer, critical issue. Why? Because while they've agreed to have $3.5 trillion of checks coming out to you, you have to ensure they're sending them out the right way, not spending 90% of the money, for example, on farmers and 5% of the money on you. That's an example I just sort of use. And that's why I brought back Seats for Stimulus. Seats for Stimulus basically says you need to spend the money the right way. We have a six house seats that are up for grabs in the next few days. And guess what? When they were on the House floor arguing the recon procedural, they specifically talked about seats for stimulus. They specifically said, hey, I I'm up for re-election. We need to get this done. So those six house seats could change the balance of power, House versus Senate, uh, House of, uh, Republican versus Democratic. Now, the House members have promised a lot of stuff. House Ways and Means promising it. The House Bill promising it. AOC promising it. They can put stimulus checks in there. There's a lot of room to put checks into $3.5 trillion. But the remainder of the stuff is already confirmed. Let's go over all the details. Number one, $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. This is now confirmed. It's now done. $3.5 trillion of checks, the biggest payout we've ever seen in the history of this channel. Recon 1, 2, and 3 were this big. Recon 4 is this big. This is enormous. The previous stimulus package is all for corporations, almost 80 90% for corporations, leaving you crumbs. This one is all for the American people. So this is a great celebratory day for the American people. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you. Now, of those checks, what are the items that are in there? We don't have the bill yet, and that is what they're doing starting right now. So what are they doing right now, now that recon procedure is done? Are they leaving and they're not doing anything to 2029? That's what I heard. <clears throat> no, untrue. They are actually still working today and on the same thing that they've been working on in the last few weeks, the recon substantive, the language. They're doing the language of the recon substantive bill right now. And guess what? This is where Purple Hawks show their wings. This is where you now stamp, step up and say, okay, $3.5 trillion is happening. It's now law, but you better spend the money the right way. And let's go over what some of the items they proposed, the secret meeting from the White House had about these provisions and what this means for you. So here are some of the proposed provisions, but it's not law yet, and certainly not bill yet. Free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, uh, election sh uh, uh, farmers checks, then free internet checks, lots of checks for seniors, lots of checks for workers, worker checks, independent contractors, and checks for seniors, checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing care. Well, what did the president have a secret meeting about on Sunday? About number three on that list. Cheaper prescription medication. This is critical because the president said, I think this is the, really the big selling point to tell the American people why we need recon uh, done. Now, what's sort of different now is that the recon is done for the price tag, but the provisions, he can still pitch people on those provisions. Why is he talking about cheaper prescription medication? I'll tell you why. Because cheaper prescription medication is an instant benefit in your bank account the next day after it becomes law. What's at issue? You go to the pharmacist on Monday and pay for something of medication. It's $10. It's $50. This becomes law on Tuesday. You go back to, to get a refill a week later, it's $10. What's going on? Basically, under the law, uh, the federal government has agreed rates with pharmaceutical companies, let's say for Medicare. When this law becomes uh, formalized, then those, slice, those prices are sliced, and the next day when you go to refill your prescription, you're paying fractions of what you paid before. Immediate savings in your bank account. Incredible great news. So what comes up next? What comes up next is the drafting of the recon substantive finalized. They've been doing this for weeks. Remember the House subcommittees are drafting the legislation, and then it goes where it goes. Now, do I know if we're still starting House versus Senate or Senate versus House? Very, very, very unclear. I certainly was reporting all this week that it looked like Steny Hoyer's comments said we're going House-Senate. Really unclear at the moment. Very, very unclear. 
Uh, next, it's important. Here is two personal messages for me. Number one, it's important not to put dates in the comments of the live chat of this channel because the dates are 99% of the time incorrect. I'll tell you why. Because we're dealing with three different bills. We're dealing with the infrastructure, roads and bridges bill. We're dealing with the recon substance, and we're dealing with the recon procedural. And even yesterday, even yesterday, when the recon procedural was passed, you know how many reporters called it recon procedural? One, me. How much, what were they calling that thing that passed yesterday? They were calling it other names, which I'd never even heard of before. As if this is so clear and crystal clear and all the terminology is so easy to follow. Yeah, this is difficult terminology. They were using other terms, which I've never even heard of. They called it something like a uh, framework. The reconciliation framework is now formalized. What does that mean? <laughs> The reconciliation uh, uh, structure is now done. What, what do you mean? Oh, recon procedure. Okay, all right. <laughs> so please do not drop in the comments dates. September, October, September 27th, September 29th. Don't drop those dates because 90% of the time they're wrong. And guess what? They're changing dates all the time. All this week we had a battle with people saying that no one was in town for the House for until September. Untrue. All this week we're dealing with people saying there was no vote this week. Untrue. Uh, so it's just it just confuses the situation. Please don't do it. What Purple Hawks need to pounce pounce on is making sure now that they do the recon procedure, the recon substantive, the right way. Finally, two wonderful great comments. I'm so proud of you as Purple Hawks of getting these big sums of money because now you see where all this big money is in these packages. This is just like December. This is just like December 2020 when you wake up and you say, well, it's the it's the it's it's a week in August. Am I getting a fourth stimulus check today? Am I getting anything from fourth stimulus today? No, you're not. Am I able to get something from third stimulus today? Absolutely. Like Johnny, who got four items this week from third stimulus. I want you to pick up the phone. City Hall, City House Authority, County Hall, County House Authority, State Hall, State House Authority. And I want you to get those big sums of money starting right now. All that money is available for you starting right now. You are eligible for it. The only people who are not eligible for it are people who make lots and lots of six figures of income. Last night I had a special Q&A question and answer session with you. I love your questions. I love my answers that I was able to help you. And you had great questions. But people were focusing on the different nuances across the board. And I love that. Focus on the details as you push. Finally, sign up for those LLA alerts. It's really been a game changer. Everyone across the country is talking about because no one in the news industry has ever done anything like this. Thousands and thousands of people have signed up for the LLA alerts, and you need to as well. Totally free. It's news.la.com forward slash alerts. Go there. The link is, the link is in the the description of this video and also in the pinned comment. When you go there, you'll land on the LA website. Put your name and email address in there. And then you'll get a confirmation email. If you have not gotten the confirmation email, look for your spam folder. Or in the case of Gmail users, it may also be in the promotions folder. If you still don't see it, you can start over and do it again. When you get it, click the blue button. You must click the blue button. And then it'll say, thank you. <laughs> And at that point, you start receiving alerts, like alerts about anything across the board. And boy, we're having a blast. And with that, so much more and so many more details to happen this week. And with that, I want you to subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record, hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Yes, this was part of a double header of Afternoons LA as the video was cut in half accidentally. So if you missed the first half, it's right before this. Stay with this video. It'll automatically take you to Overnight's Crypto coming up next. And then I'll see you at five o'clock on Evenings LA. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with L8 for more.